happy to be participating in this. Uh, I feel already an upliftment in my consciousness and I'm starting to think of Krishna. <laughs> uh, once, uh, let me introduce my uh, little uh, presentation this evening. Originally, when I was uh, preparing for this uh, program, I must admit I was still so much with my mind in the book which I'm presently preparing uh, that I, I could not really think much about it because mm, I have to meet certain deadlines which I have my given myself and uh, it's a very hard service, perhaps the greatest sacrifice I have done so far in Prabhupada's movement. It, it will become extraordinary good. It is very, very different from the books you have seen so far from which came from my pen. Um, I feel the book writes itself. I'm not the one who, who writes it, but I'm the unwilling pen who is and beaten into submission uh, to bring out something uh, hopefully very useful. Mm. Then as I was from time to time thinking uh, what do we want to create with this Eastern retreat? Mm. I began to get an idea which crystallized when I heard this beautiful explanation of Ramanujacharya, uh, how to practically uh, learn to think of Krishna. His method is very easy. One should immerse himself into uh, the seven oceans of Krishna's glorious qualities. And just by immersing oneself, having an immersive experience, one will automatically think of Krishna. And, and this made a lot of sense because I have seen during the various Kirtan Melas, which I was uh, lucky enough to attend, that uh, mm, miracles happened amongst the participants. They uh, chanted just for a few hours the holy names and uh, immersed themselves in it and then even in their dreams they continued to chant uh, and they made very good uh, how would you say experiences in Krishna consciousness and could really present something uh, YouTube uh, has uh, given us uh, a price, a platinum or golden, what is it? Uh, premium. Premium. <laughs> <laughs> what, what Manu showed us? Platinum. A platinum. 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 It's a certain, mm, you know, when you obtain a lot of mm, people coming to whatever you present, you get platinum, silver and golden awards. So the, uh, we have so many people coming and listening to these online kirtans now that mm, yeah, we are the first platinum, platinum uh, whatever is award winners with, with kirtan music, you know, usually it's uh, Beatles and uh, I don't know what is now Vogue, but this is a new thing and it really comes because people make this immersive experience mm, they so t totally dive under and they go very deep 
I mean, they listen for a few hours to, to Krishna Kirtan. So in the same way, mm, uh, uh, but there is something more. Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur says, the holy name uh, is not coming alone. Just like Krishna is always associated with Srimati Radhika, uh, the holy name has to always be accompanied with Krishna Kata. Because only when you hear about Krishna will you uh, be able to uh, think of Krishna when you chant the holy name. So uh, as for new people, this the chanting, we only talk about the chanting and let them chant. For devotees who want to go further and who want to uh, go deeper into Krishna consciousness, it's very important to offer uh, Krishna Kata. And um, that was the original idea why I, uh, uh, with Gora Hari together, made the plan to invite our Hari Parshat Prabhu because he is um, not only a lover of Krishna, uh, who likes Krishna very much, we can see that, but he's a Sanskrit scholar and he can, uh, um, he can allow uh, the voice of Rupa Goswami and all these great um, uh, pure devotees to come uh, through with his translation and, and you know, explaining the whole back stories and the contextual things both philosophically as well as Leela wise and um, I think it is very important that when we hear about Krishna it's not just some imaginative hearing but we should uh, hear how he really is and that is uh, only possible if we hear from the Shastras and from the pure devotees. So I developed, uh, um, started to develop a seminar um, which would allow you to immerse yourself in certain uh, qualities of Krishna. To, today we talked about what quality? Karunya, yeah, the compassion of Krishna, which I think is very interesting for us because we all need mercy. <laughs> we can only go so far on our own steam with our own effort and then we come to our limitations which uh, we <coughs> have not even been able to cross in our in our last life. No, we, When you move in bhakti forward you often meet those very same uh, limitations and borders mm, <coughs> which you were not able to um, you know, pass in the last life. Everything goes quite quickly in the beginning of Krishna consciousness. You become quite enthused. You you actually feel joy in your heart when uh, an older devotee says to you, surrender. You go, yes, I'm into it. Uh, uh, <laughs> but then as you move on, uh, all of a sudden the same word which had a thrilling sound in your ear becomes uh, something you fear. Oh, and why do you fear it? Yes, it was the point, often <coughs> it was a point where you stopped in the last life in which you could not uh, cross. So, in this, uh, so therefore Krishna's compassion is very important. Uh, the next one is Krishna's good qualities, for instance, that he keeps his word. Yes, I know. Uh, in Braj Bhakti, we hear also that Krishna sometimes doesn't keep his word. <laughs> and uh, but that is on the level of love. That is uh, when Krishna promises to take care of a surrendered soul and addresses us here in the world. He uh, he 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 keeps his word and, and to make sure he lets Arjuna say it uh, so that no one would doubt him because some know his Braj character. Uh, good. Um, so, uh, but then I thought further, if I now talk about all the qualities of Krishna one after the other, uh, perhaps mm, after a whole day of hearing and chanting, 
you would not uh, uh, be inclined enough and uh, to to listen with attention and therefore I decided in my evening presentations to just um, uh, take a risk and uh, invite all of you to uh, come with me into the amazing pastimes of Krishna. I will just talk Krishna Kata, we will sing in between, we will laugh hopefully, uh, we will uh, mm, think how this relates to us uh, here in this world uh, and we uh, will uh, th uh, think about mm, uh, how to move forward in our own Krishna consciousness. Um, I want to talk in these evenings in particularly about Krishna's holy leelas. Mm, uh, holy takes place in the uh, season of spring. It, I think it comes to the close now in Braj, but spring is a little uh, later here, starting in the west. We were actually hoping to throw colors this year, but we will see if Indra uh, is, uh, has learned, you know, from the Govardhan Leela to not disturb. <laughs> <laughs> Up till now he's a little slow <laughs> in applying the lesson, uh, but uh, perhaps let us see. Uh, but uh, spring in general is uh, known uh, uh, as something that creates hope. There is an English author who said, the day the Lord created hope was probably <laughs> the same day he created spring. Because in spring, you know, the nature comes. I want to invite you to take that walk down there, this long walk. You would see on the left side, the hill is spotted with very rare flowers which are extinct in, in Europe. but they are here, the Narcissen, the wild Narcissen, they are yellow like Krishna's doti and, and, uh, and uh, so on. It's a hope, you know, something comes out of the cold earth <coughs> and, uh, and so on. And I, I would like to, to just uh, request with you, to uh, uh, request you to go with me into this uh, Leela. I know for some of you it will be difficult because you are used to mundane adventure stories and uh, this is something new and the mind revolts against what is new. Mm, therefore the Acharyas have made great um, uh, endeavors to present this in a tasteful way. There is one verse uh, in uh, Antya Lila. Sudhanam chandrinam api madur rimon madadamani tadhana radadi panayagana sarai surabitam Samantat Santa Podgama Vishama Samsara Sarani Pranitam Tik Trishnam Haratu Hari Lila Shikarini <laughs> you, might, you might recognize <laughs> this is from Vidakta Manava. And uh, the translation reads, May the pastimes of Sri Krishna reduce the miseries existing in the material world and nullify all unwanted desires. The pastimes of the Supreme Personality of Godhead are like shikarini, a blend of yogurt and sugar candy. They overpower the pride of even the nectar produced on the moon. <coughs> For they distribute the sweet fragrance of the concentrated loving affairs of Srimati Radharani and the gopis. So yes, we will hear uh, <laughs> 
Shikarini drink, uh, nectarian drink. Uh, in uh, I'm, I'm continuing uh, Hari Pasha's presentation last year and also this year. It's also Shikarini. Uh, same thing <laughs> uh, with with the pastime of uh, 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 Lord Krishna. Before I start, I would like. Mm, mm, to set a little bit the mood in which we can hear these pastimes. Um, uh, in Gaudiya Vaishnavism, when we hear about Krishna's pastime, we first have to hear about Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, because it is he who pushes open the door uh, to Krishna Leela, um, especially the uh, Leela uh, Madhurya Lila, Krishna's sweet uh, pastimes with uh, Shimati Radharani and the gopis. And, and uh, if we go through that door, we will reach. So Prabhupada writes about uh, this. Lord Chaitanya, he was the greatest symbol of a Krishna Bhakta, a devotee of Krishna. Uh, so just see from his life. He never said that, I have seen Krishna. He never said that. He never said, I have seen Krishna. He was mad after Krishna. Where can I see Krishna? Where is Krishna? Where is Krishna? He was so mad after Krishna. That uh, is the, I mean to say, process of Chaitanya philosophy. <coughs> it is called Viraha. Viraha means separation. Separation, oh Krishna. Please repeat after me. You are so good. You are so good. You are so merciful. You are so merciful. You are so nice. You are so nice. But I am so rascal. I am so rascal. I am so full of sin. I am so full of sin. That I cannot see you. I have no qualification to see you. I have no qualification to see you. Yes, do you mean it? Or <laughs> So, uh, welcome, we will continue. In this way, if one feels the separation of Krishna, that Krishna, I want to see you, but I'm so disqualified that I cannot see you. This feeling, these feelings of separation will make you enriched in Krishna consciousness. Feeling of separation. No? This is very sweet, Krishna, I, I really miss you. And what is even more disturbing, I, I miss the feeling that I miss you. <coughs> mm. yeah. Not the Krishna, I have seen you. Finished. All right. I have understood you. Finished. All my business finished. No! Perpetually think of yourself that I am unfit to see Krishna. That will enrich you in Krishna consciousness. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu displays this, these feelings of separation. This is Radharani's separation. When Krishna went from Vindavan uh, to, to the place of Vasudev in Mathura, and Radharani was feeling in that way, she was always mad after Krishna. So Krishna Chaitanya, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, took the separation feelings of Radharani. That's the best way of worshipping Krishna or becoming Krishna conscious. Mm. Yes. Uh, so, uh, this is how we also can get the most out of listening to Krishna, or Krishna. By this listening of these beautiful verses which we hear, these beautiful explanations, or now this beautiful pastimes of, of holy, um, mm, I, I want to come closer to you. Mm. The author of this uh, uh, is Gadadha Bhatta. He is the um, 
disciple of Raghunath Bhatta Goswami. He was a very prolificent author of Vaishnav uh, philosophy, uh, Vaishnav songs. He lived in, in, in Middle India, Madhya, somewhere Madhya Pradesh perhaps. And his songs were um, circulated amongst the Vaishnavas. Um, uh, uh, one of his songs came into uh, came to the ear of Jiva Goswami, who wrote him a letter when he heard it. This is how it happened. Jiva Goswami had been in the temple of uh, Shishi Radha Govinda in Brindavan. Mm, have you seen this big red uh, structure, which is no longer the original heights, this sandstone structure, yes? yes. Mm. Have you also gone on the altar and behind the altar and then down? Uh, there you will find a cave where the one who arranges all the pastimes in Vindavan is staying. The original Yoga Maya deity is there. Yes, it's, she's kept there. And if you have 100 rupees, you can make the journey downstairs and see her. Everything is possible nowadays with money. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so um, the w one who arranges these beautiful pastimes is is there with her assistant, the uh, assistant, the Leela Shakti, Belinda Devi. Yes. Anyway, so Jiva Goswami had a wonderful darshan of Radha Govinda, and he went down the steps. When he saw on the bottom of the steps of this temple a sadhu singing a beautiful song to Krishna. Mm, uh, and, and uh, the song spoke about the ranga, the color of of uh, uh, the the love. Uh, it, it said, "Some say the song say, Krishna, when you leave the Vrindavan, uh, when you leave early in the morning, uh, the Vrindavan village, mm, then we cannot see you. But I," said the song, "cannot say." Uh, that I cannot see you because you are always there with your beautiful Siam color. Uh, you always play in my heart. Shiva Goswami heard this. He said uh, to the Vaishnava who sang this, who, who wrote that? The Vaishnava say, I don't know, some Gadadha Bhatta, I've never seen him. Uh, where, where is he? I don't know, uh, Goswamiji, said the Vaishnava, but I like the song that uh, Krishna, you, you are always with me. I uh, cannot say that you li leave uh, me. Uh, said Jiva, he does not know. <coughs> And he wrote with his own hand a beautiful verse, um, uh, uh, which Jiva, uh, which Raghunath Goswami had composed. In the verse, Raghunath Goswami s says, "One can only understand uh, Krishna through Radharani." Yes. Anaradita it starts, you know, who can dive into the ocean of the Syam Rasa, who has not had contact with Radha, uh, not had contact with the forest of Vindavan where her lotus feet go, and who has not talked to the devotees of Radha, who have very deep affection for Radha in the heart. No one can enter into the Syam Rasa, into the beautiful mellows of tasting Krishna. It's not possible. So Jiva Goswami just wrote this verse down, nothing else. And he sent two of his disciples to say, find this Gadadha Bhatta uh, and deliver this letter to him immediately. So they went for many months searching and one day they arrived in some village where there was a sadhu who was just taking his bali, his uh, bucket bath. 
Have you seen bucket baths in Vindavan? Have you also done? Yes. Mm, that's that's uh, it's good. you need to measure exactly your <laughs> your showering water. I I have uh, I need nowadays two baldies, uh, you know, to do everything. But uh, so he was just <laughs> getting the bucket up and taking his baldi bucket and. Uh, Uh, Vaishnava said, have, have you seen, uh, is here somewhere in the village one Gadadha Bhatta? Uh, the sadhu was in his gamsha, he was wet. He said, uh, why are you asking? Vaishnava said, we have a letter for this Gadadha Bhatta written by Jiva Goswami. Immediately the demeanor of the sadhu changed. He was dripping wet. Give me that letter. I'm that Gadarabhata. <laughs> <laughs> so he opened the letter and there was only one shloka. How can anyone ever dive in the uh, nectarian ocean of the mellows of Krishna who has not made contact with Radha, uh, with the forest of Vindavan where she walks, with her beautiful dainty steps and who has not talked to the devotees of Radha. And he said, he went like, Tika, yes. He, uh, some say he immediately went in the wet gamsha. I don't believe it. I think that's an Iskon way to express hurry. <laughs> we do that when we are come when Mangala Arti time is uh, coming up and we are very late and for social reasons we have to be there uh, so then we make haste so he somehow hasted to Vindavan and he met Shiva Goswami and he became a very dear disciple of Raghunath Bhatta uh, a very realized soul who had deep insights into Uh, uh, Krishna Leela and he wrote the holy pastimes based on the writings of the Goswamis and so on and I, I like to share that with you today uh, uh, as much as I can I beg you all to listen attentively because if you should close your ears uh, my mouth will close uh, and my heart will cry so <laughs> you, uh, we, we need to create the dynamic between uh, speaker and audience and therefore, yes, uh, it, it, the Leela starts in an extremely humorous way. So we will just prepare ourselves with a little entry kirtan here and then we go right, right into it. This is all right. No, yes, yes. middle. Yes. Good. Yeah. 
of the forest of Vendavan is filled with hordes of chappy bumblebees. They are drawn to the nectar of the various blossoming flowers. The springtime sweetness is there in the charming conversations of the cuckoos. The springtime sweetness awakens the loving desire of the young gopis. In your mind's eye, you can just walk through the forest of Vindavan. So many creepers winding around golden with golden colors around blackish tamal trees. There are beautiful flowers and honey oozes out of them. As a result, it's full of nectarian songs of bumblebees. They are not aggressive. Um, 
they are sweet. <laughs> and it is in this forest where the lakes are there, cooling breezes, cries of love intoxicated birds, where the stage is set for an extraordinary pastime of a loving war between Radha and Krishna, where Jai Shri is celebrated at the end. So please, as you sing, prepare your consciousness to leave boring Germany for a while <laughs> in the bad weather. And sing please with me now. Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama
pastimes, forest, Krishna uh, was there with his Saka. But somehow Krishna felt a little absent-minded on that day. The thought was somewhere. And uh, there are three cowherd boys who are very intu attuned to uh, Krishna's thoughts, especially thoughts when he thinks of the gopis. The rest of the cowherd boys relate to Krishna in Sakarasa, Krishna alone. Uh, but these three know that Krishna his heart is full with the images of Radha and the beautiful gopis. Uh, one of them is uh, Subal Saka, the other is Ujjal, and the third is? Madhu yes! <laughs> 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 and Madhu Mangal thought, I know, my Krishna is absent-minded, he thinks of the beautiful gopis. It is a springtime, conducive uh, to uh, loving uh, meetings. Uh, I must make this happening. So Madhu Mangal went before Krishna and said, Hey Krishna, <laughs> our pastimes are a little weak. You have become very weak in the association of these cowherd boys. Whereas I can see with my intelligence, sharpened by austerities, <laughs> that the girls, the gopis, have become very, very strong. You should not associate only with these weak cowherd boys. Oh, the coward boys are getting <laughs> nervous. Uh, and then Krishna, uh, uh, um, um, uh, uh, looks at Madhu Mangal with questioning eyes. And Madhu Mangal says, Don't be afraid, you know, I am by your side. Uh, with my strengths, the strengths of my mantras, you were able to even lift. <laughs> the Govardhan hill and kill all the demons so this momentary weakness which has <laughs> overcome you and your party uh, can be overcome by my activities and uh, without any warning Madhu Mangal started suddenly to dance there was no rhyme no rhythm he just <laughs> went he danced so much that his Brahmin string fell from his body <laughs> uh, and, and down on the ground. When Krishna saw Madhu Mangal, you know, lifting the energy, so to say, they laughed and laughed at him. And um, Madhu Mangal, mm, taking the role of an actor, became very suspenseful. He pretended to be offended. You have laughed at a Brahmana. <laughs> No Brahmana should stay in a country where he is um, neglected. I have enough of your party. Um, and now, you, you first you are weak and then you are offensive. <laughs> um, I will change over to the party of Radharani. <laughs> I will go. And he left. And Krishna looking at this unexpected turn of events. First Madhu Mangal's wild dancing, his losing of the Brahmin thread, and then his paradoxical words that he was the one who lifted Govardhan <laughs> really, uh, because uh, he gave the, the backup to Krishna. They just laughed and uh, Madhu Mangal didn't even turn around. Uh, he was very hurt and he went to uh, uh, the Sakis. Mm, mm, uh, uh, and he only heard Krishna and the cowherd boys in the distance laughing even harder. Mm. So, mm, uh, we have heard what is going on in the uh, heart of Krishna. Now we need to hear what is going on in uh, the hearts of uh, the 
the gopis. No? Uh, Prabhupada talks about this. The gopis' dealings with Krishna is considered the topmost. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he recommended Ramya Kachit Upasana Vrajavadu Vagena Yakalpita. Vrajavadu, the gopis, the damsels of Vrindavan, they worship Krishna in the topmost loving affairs. They did not know anything but Krishna. For Krishna, they could sacrifice anything. <coughs> Their honor, their prestige, everything, their husbands, their sons, their family, that is the gopis standard. So when the gopis saw Madhu Mangal walking in a huff towards them, they felt hope. The darkness of their separation from Krishna would come to an end because Krishna's dearest, one of his dearest messengers, he's one of the three, uh, uh, was moving towards them. But he knew, they know, Madhu Mangal is very funny. Uh, so <laughs> something will happen. Um, so he come, comes there, the gopis immediately surround him and uh, they feel so restless to somehow be with Krishna that they can't control this, uh, themselves. They don't want to let Madhu Mangal go and they bind him to a tree. <laughs> <laughs> this is love, my dear devotees. Love is a transrational feeling. <laughs> you know. Uh, and they take a seeker and bind him on a branch and say, you come from this rascal Krishna. Uh, you must be also a rascal. We better bind you up. <laughs> and uh, Radha Rani looks uh, while her sakis laugh and dance around Madhu Mangal in a circle. Uh, and Madhu Mangal, being so excited by the pastime, laughs also and moves his neck <laughs> and shoulders without knowing exactly why the gopis laugh at him. <laughs> so you can see the rasa is not just a, a, a male and female thing struggling for su for superiority. It is drenched in sweetness and inconceivable <coughs> moods that are quite different from the moods of uh, 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 what we have in this world. And so he uh, uh, turns to Radha and says, uh, Radha, your uh, sakis are a little bit uncivilized. Um, uh, <laughs> I, I have come to you to take your shelter. Please protect me from your ferocious gopis. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Radharani, uh, uh, thinking at that moment how dear Madhu Mangal is to Krishna, opens his bondage, you know, unties him and asks him, Oh intelligent one, you are Brahmana who knows the essence of the Vedas, but where is your Brahman thread? <laughs> Why do you not have your sacred thread on you? So Madhu Mangal smiles and says, I will tell you, listen very carefully, why I have no sacred thread. I had a fight with Krishna and then I took it off on purpose and threw it before his feet and I made an oath. I said, oh Hari, I'm leaving you now until I make sure that you are defeated because you laughed about me. I will not wear the sacred thread again. Only when I make you bow to the lotus feet of Radha will I put the Yajna Pavitra back on my shoulders. You have to remember this vow of Madhu Mangal. Only if I see that you, O oh Hari, are defeated by Radha, will I again put my Yajna Pavitra on. This is uh, done in, uh, I think I, uh, you know, there are some vows, I just now forgot, but it was someone who was close to Prabhupada, was it the sister or the mother who said, I, I eat 
only with the right hand again. She uh, now I eat only with the left hand, but I eat only with the right hand again. If my boy asks me why I eat, he must become cultured. He must understand the Brahminical culture. And so, so yeah, so uh, so. Mm, mm, uh, Madhumanga said, I have changed sides now. I will act as your advisor and advise you how you can defeat Krishna in the battle of Holi. Um, uh, this will teach Krishna a good lesson because he is so fickle-minded. He n needs to be defeated now in the war of colors and put in his place. But first things first, my, can you hear the growling in my tummy? I need to be fed first. <laughs> so Radharani smiles, she knows Madhumanga and arranges a very good sized meal for him and feeds Madhumanga with her own hand remembering how dear uh, she, he is to Krishna. I can't really imagine so much. I think she must have given it to another Saki and that Saki has given it to Madhu Mangal. But she was there and feeding him. Uh, mm, mm, mm. Uh, as Vishaka watches how Radha arranges to feed Madhu Mangal, she whispers into Radha's ear. Are Saki? I can see there is a desire that has entered into your heart. You want to play with Yama Sunda. Otherwise, why would the sound of your voice have changed so much? Why is the color of your face now different if you would not think of Krishna? Why are tears coming from your eyes and why is your skin covered with goosebumps and you are dizzy? Radha confides to the Sakis, you have understood my heart. I want to play with Syama Sundar. Mm. Uh, his limbs are as effulgent as the sun of my dynasty and he is decorated with Chandra. Uh, so, uh, just as Radha started to think intensely of Krishna, Krishna uh, is aware of how Radha feels so eager to meet him. It is said, true lovers and uh, they live in each other's heart. That is, a true lover will know what the beloved thinks and feels even if he is uh, miles away, uh, or she is miles away. True lovers uh, live in each other's heart and Krishna uh, uh, picks up on Radha's eagerness and she, he is so moved that he takes out his flute and addresses his flute. Flute, now play like you have never played before. He is so stunned that he cannot blow uh, in the flute himself. But the flute is after all also the flute of Krishna, he knows. And then mm, mm, uh, uh, Krishna he, he just chants Radha, Radha, Radha into the flute and the flute then begins to sing Radha's name. At that moment when uh, the flute uh, says Radhe, Radhe, Radha, Rani Radhe, Radhe, Radha, Rani Radhe, Radhe, Radha Rani. Radhe, Radhe, Radha Rani. Radhe, Radhe, Radha Rani. Radhe, Radhe, Radha Rani. Radhe, Radhe, Radha 
राध राधे 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 almost almost you need to listen a little bit more actively radhe radhe radha radhe 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 radha radhe exactly what Madhu Mangal had in mind. He changed the sides uh, to, uh, uh, to bring Radha and Krishna together. He's now in the camp of Radharani and he will work with his uh, pastime infused intelligence how to bring about the meeting of the divine couple. Already uh, the atmosphere is heightening and uh, the flute song is there and Radharani is very moved but uh, uh, Radha, uh, Madhu feels he has only put a drop into the ocean of pastimes which a drop of oil very quickly <coughs> spreads on the surface of a lake so th it starts to spread listen how super fine loving and intelligence uh, the Leela moves on so after some time Madhu Mangal completes his meal then he complains to the gopis a meal is only complete if at the end makan is served <laughs> oh Radharani smiles he's so greedy <laughs> he has gotten so much beautiful preparations and now he still complains this Brahman must be taught a lesson <laughs> so he, she signals with her eyes to Sudevi <coughs> you must know in Braj culture eyes can speak uh, Radha speaks by decorating herself in certain ways and that means something mm. Mm -hmm. uh, when, uh, for instance, she puts two swans here, one here and here, and the decoration, I mean, she doesn't put, but the gopis put, and she and Krishna sees her, it means we will meet. Swans are looking at each other. But when the swans look away, <laughs> it means it's not a good time to meet. Uh, <laughs> so there are many, many, the language of Braj is, is different. Um, you know, sometimes when uh, th you need actually a whole dictionary to understand what they are saying because it's so playful, so rustic. Anyways, um, uh, uh, so, so, so Devi understands the glance of Radha and says, uh, so you want makan, um, Madhu, that can be arranged? Do you want old makan or do you want freshly churned makan you know that's when you take milk and you churn it freshly and then you get on the churning rod this uh, beautiful yellowish golden butter very fresh and Madhu Mangal says of course fresh makan okay, very good this can be arranged said Sudevi and puts a chada on the head of Madhu Mangal, Madhu Mangal gets, and then uh, puts a clay pot um, we've put the best milk in this clay pot. In reality, it's a pot with wild colors inside, uh, you know, <laughs> who swim in the water. And uh, they uh, then, uh, is this the only way you can churn the butter? It is the only way, because if it is on the head of a qualified Brahmana, <laughs> the taste increases <laughs> a million fold. Okay, so Madhu sits there with this big pot, <laughs> and Sudevi is on a on a on a slightly elevated thing. It goes brrr, 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 
and my manga says, ah, Raven, this is ready. It's so heavy. Um, wait, 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 wait. Uh, good butter. Need some time. And then mm, 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 mm. again says, uh, 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 quick. <laughs> so Devi said, don't move, Brahmana. <laughs> <laughs> Sit steady, <laughs> but, but Madhu gets impatient. So Devi says, "Don't talk. You wanted fresh butter, and we are preparing it just now. Hear the noise from the churning. Be quiet." <laughs> then Radharani gives the sign. <laughs> so Devi takes a stick and <laughs> bangs the big, uh, what is the clay pot? And all the colors go just over Madhu Mangal. They go like here, here in the eyes, around the ears. They go down on his chest. They, they decorate his belly, which begins to gleam and glisten in the sun. <laughs> they color his, his dhoti in various colors, green, black, yellow, red, um, pink, everything. Uh, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and this Madhu uh, jumps up and all the sakis are around and having their syringes ready. <laughs> And they, uh, they uh, quickly drench him in even more colors. Uh, uh, Radharani looks at that moment so beautiful. <laughs> she is pleased. Uh, more and more gobies come and drench him. Um, and the hair stands on end and he dances and he says, Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> this is so, so enlivening. And the gobies bring more and more color. Madhu turns black, green, red. <laughs> First they put wet color, then they put dry color on him. <laughs> and he's, uh, he's really changing. Um, and finally, it gets too much, and Madhu Mangal screams, Oi! 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 Very loud. And uh, then he receives a strike from the back, boom, and he jumps. Then he receives a strike with a lotus flower uh, on the chest, boom, uh, uh, and he, it looks quite desperate from the outside. But in uh, Madhu Mangal's heart, something is going on. He knows uh, the pastime is slowly mounting to insurpassable heights because Krishna will now have to take heavy revenge. His, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, his, his messenger is said. So finally, he screams, Brahmahatya! <laughs> you know what this means? Murder of the Brahmana. <laughs> <laughs> and he says it so loud that he, and the wind is there and he carries that sound into Krishna's camp, camp who hears murder, murder, murder. <laughs> and Krishna gets, gets restless. And then he uh, screams, Krishna save me! Krishna save me! O Gopala! O Gopala! O Braja Sundara! O Braja Sundara! O Gokulendra Tanaya! O Gokulendra Tanaya! You are it's enough. <laughs> you are the son of Nanda. Please don't fear the gopis. You are Sridam Priya. You are Balaram Bhai. You are Dam Damoda Trahimar. Please give up your fear and quickly come and protect me. Uh, so Syama Sunda hears all this, uh, and so he takes Subal to the side. You remember Subal, the second, uh, 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 you know, th he's one of the three, and says, Are, do you also hear those helpless cries of Madhu? Let's go and free our friend from the captivity of the gopis. Raghunath offers obeisances to Sub Subal Saka. He says, Gada nurage ye vira he bhayete Svabne o govinda hasta napare chodite. I offer my obeisance unto Krishna's dear friend Subal, 
who out of great loving fear cannot let go of Govinda's hand even in dreams. When we dream, uh, sorry, uh, sorry, during the day we might remember Krishna uh, one time when prasadam uh, sound comes and we think, oh yes, Krishna is my friend, he feeds me. Uh, that, that may be our only time we think of Krishna during the day. Uh, Subal uh, Saka always thinks of Krishna and even when the dreams come, uh, he cannot let go um, uh, and of Krishna and he is constantly showered by a stream of Radha's love because Radha knows that Subal is one of Krishna's greatest assistant in meeting uh, 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 meeting Krishna you know uh, he Radha knows Madhu Mangal and Subal and Ujjal, they are usually sent as messages and then she, they bring me together with Krishna. So, so, uh, uh, so Krishna says, let's go and free our friend from the captivity of the gopis. Uh, uh, saying this, he readies himself to go mm. Mm. <laughs> and uh, so on. But uh, uh, Subhal Saka says, no, don't go. I feel this is just the beginning of a huge battle. <laughs> and when the and the king should not go in front of the, his soldiers because if he is captured, then the battle is already over. It's finished. So you stay here and I will go and I will say a message of love to Radharadi. So Krishna concedes and said, true, Subal, in the past you served me as a skillful messenger. You know how to speak sweetly. These are the three uh, qualities of a messenger, you know. When Goloka Dam should send a messenger to the GBC, that person needs to know how to speak sweetly uh, to get the good atmosphere. Uh, then second, you understand the message clearly and you can make them understand the gopis. No? And the third is mm, you are a scholar and you will not be misinterpreted because they they like to uh, understand everything they like to understand the way they like to understand and uh, in this way um, a wonderful pastime is going to take place. I will just take a you more I will go up till when Suba goes comes into the camp are you still there yes, yes. wow mm. uh, you must know this beautiful pastime takes place in which month uh, months spring, spring yes uh, Krishna <coughs> is actually the personification of spring you, he has said so in the Bhagavad Gita I am the month of spring. This means practically that all qualities of spring are visible in Syama Sunda. Uh, the blossoming flowers of the spring are Krishna's lips. Uh, and, 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 uh, and also his eyes. Uh, the bees which are there in the month of of this spring months, they are actually described to be the little curls of Radha's hair and the beautiful cuckooing of the curls. Curls is, I think, cuckoo. What could that be? The voice of whom? Of Shirada. You know everything already. Um, yes. Uh, and the breeze from the Malayan hills, you know, sweet with the scent of uh, Chandan, they are the in and exhalations of Radha and Syam Sunda's breath. Uh, uh, so this uh, shows you how spring is the, the past, is the couple, uh, is the, 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 how do you say that, the, the time is, is, is the, place or the platform of the divine couple. Now they only need to come together and that is what the, the Sakas and Sakis are all about. 
in this world the greatest service you can do for Krishna is uh, 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 to to tell them about the message of the Bhagavad Gita, to tell conditioned souls the message of the Bhagavad Gita. He says on the Gita, no? No one is more dearer to me, says Krishna, than <coughs> he who explains this the, the subject. Because the subject of Krishna consciousness brings people back to Krishna. Now, in the spiritual world, uh, the best service you can do is also to bring uh, two together, uh, Radha and Krishna. Here in the world, you have to bring conditioned souls to Krishna, uh, there to bring Radha and Krishna together. And the whole pastime moves now in such a way that the divine couple can, uh, can come together. Um, so when uh, Radha Rani sees Subal coming, this is now the second Gopa who is close to Krishna. Uh, he, uh, she is excited. There is a pranam mantra to Gopal, uh, to, to Subal. It says, Tanuru chivijata hirajam haridaitam harinam haritvasanam. I praise Hari's dear friend. Subal. Subal, whose bodily luster defeats gold. He looks golden. Who wears a necklace and a green dhoti. He has a green dhoti. Whose eyes resemble blue lotus flowers and who delights his friends. Because Subal is so golden, he looks a little like Radha and sometimes uh, he changes dress with the Radharani. He gives uh, Radharani his green dhoti, and uh, then Radha can uh, 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 and his turban, and then Radha can uh, uh, pass by Jyotila and uh, and and go to to Krishna. And Subha takes her place and sits there with Radha Sari <laughs> in, in the house. So Radha knows Subha very good. So so Subha. Mm, Mm, talks to Shimadi Radharani in an indirect way, uh, respecting that she is the most beloved of Krishna. Mm -hmm. uh, he does not address Radha directly. He speaks to Vrinda Devi, uh, and Radha is just sitting there because she usually does not talk to any other man than Krish Krishna. So uh, uh, he uh, speaks now to Vrinda Devi while Radha listens. Are Vrinde? We heard that Madhu Mangal is crying. Please let us know why he had made such a huge noise. Normally he makes us laugh. <laughs> so Radha Rani here looks at Subal who talks so sweetly to find out <laughs> what he knows already and he she thinks, oh my mind, whenever I think of Krishna, and I think now because I see Subal, so much of Krishna, um, my mind gives me so much distress because I'm so eager for Krishna. Have patience now, you will definitely meet Krishna. Um, uh, in the meantime, the gopis who are restless, they want to start holy. They have made all their hands full of colors. They come <laughs> behind Subal, who talks very cultured. Tell us, Belinda, <laughs> why is our friend uh, crying in such a distressed way? So Radha stops the gopis, who again <laughs> look back and they go the back. They, they can't wait, these beautiful gopis, to start finally. Um, don't sprinkle him just now. We will first hear him out and then decide how to deal with him later, she says. Mm. Mm. So Brinda Devi said, mm. Mm. Now then Subal, Subal breaks the rules. He speaks to Radha directly. He says, hey Radhe, you are praised by all the saints because you have so much love in your heart. Why are you angry at my friend Madhu? He's only a simple Brahmin boy. Why torture him? At this moment, Tonga Vitya, who's expert at cracking jokes, came up very quickly from an angle where Subal could not notice her. 
she had an eyeliner on her hands, there's a black kajal, and she applied it on the face of uh, Subal. He made a circle around one eye, not around the other, so that <laughs> Subal has one black eye <laughs> like this, and then. Um, then, uh, mm, mm, then uh, Suva protested, Hey Radhika, how do you deal with your guests? Have you trained your sakis like that? I'm free of any offense or crime. If a messenger comes, even if he is a messenger of an enemy, me, and even if he carries an unpleasant message, one should always deal with him uh, properly. But Lalita says, no, this is very proper. In the months of uh, Holi, Vraja welcomes intense language and smearing kajal on the other's face. And Vrinda mm, 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 says, no, 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 don't, don't act so harshly with him. It's true, fire and enemies should be dealt with immediately and extinguished even. But he is not fire, he is not an enemy, he is a messenger. <laughs> and uh, then she says to Radha, when a merciful person like you, Radha, acts cruel, then love will go from this world and descend to the lower planets. So, Shimati Radharani listens to the sweet discussion and with a wink of her eye, <laughs> she shows to the uh, uh, Sakis, let them go now. <laughs> the, the, the Dasis understood immediately. They opened the door to the Kunj and Maru and Subal took the opportunity and ran back to Krishna. Uh, when Maru and Subal arrived before Krishna, Maru Mangal immediately began to joke, look at Subal's eye. <laughs> <laughs> They, the, the eye is smeared and he told the story and then Krishna looks at Madhu and he has to just laugh. He says, you look like a Shiva Linga. <laughs> <laughs> that has been worshipped with flowers, lotuses, chandan and many, many colors. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> and uh, Subal uh, uh, says, uh, Siam, it's enough. The gopis have disrespected us. <laughs> they will surely want to take Vindavan from us and drive us and our cows out of Vindavan. They have become so strong. We must do something. And with this, I leave you. <laughs> <laughs> We must do something. They take the land which is bestowed uh, to us, uh, which Nanda Maharaj has given for grazing the cows. And they have turned against us and our noble profession of cow herding. They have become intoxicated by the, uh, by the intoxication of their beauty. We must do something and they are many. <coughs> but I, uh, I, I, I cannot fire all my munition. I, I mean, I can't tell you over everything. I have two more thi uh, uh, th things. I will. We will just end uh, this uh, mm, uh, pastime. What I want, to, why I took time to explain it. You know, these pastimes are different than what we feel in this what we see in this world they are filled with jokes filled with <coughs> indirect hints filled with uh, mm, uh, a, a, a tremendous love and they only have this one purpose in the Madhurya Rasa only this one purpose is there how to bring Radha and Krishna together now that is what what they <coughs> Uh, what is the desire of those who are participating in this Madhu, uh, uh, Madhu Rasa, in this uh, uh, very sweet Rasa. You will see it is very surprising and you uh, will see in the pastime of Holi uh, love shows its true colors. You will find a love that you have not seen in this world. Um, you will understand why this is
transcendental. You will understand also uh, when Krishna becomes a yogi at the end of the pastime, uh, when he says to his cowherd boyfriends, I was the general of your army, but our army lost. Now I must go in the forest and uh, practice tapasya. Leave me alone, please. You should not have faith any longer in me. And you will then see how from this point uh, the, uh, pa the, the waves of the pastimes turn in a totally unexpected way and move in a, in a very different way. Mm, by hearing about Krishna, his qualities, Radha and her qualities, uh, uh, something beautiful will come out. Mm. And we will just end now with uh, 10 minutes of Kirtan and then <coughs> we will go on. Mm.
everyone, please raise your hands in the sky and sing from your heart. just wanted to say, take this with you. Uh, Radha is praying to her mind, why uh, you are so eager to meet Krishna? And uh, she has now released the two messages of love. Who was that? Madhu Mangal and Subal. And they have a very, very clear message. <laughs> they are drenched in colors. They look like a ghost Subal, you know, imagine he has a golden complexion and then a black eye, you know, <laughs> like big black eye. <laughs> and uh, they uh, have the message, it has gone too far. They want to take the <laughs> land of Braj. These gopis, uh, they have no respect from our, for <coughs> us. And uh, uh, they are, uh, these two have run from the camp of Radha. The Sakis are laughing and shouting, ho, 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 ri. and uh, they, they run, and the Sakas see them running, and they lo look, and uh, they all, uh, it's, it's, it's really a mixture of the Vira Rasa, the heroic Rasa is building up, and uh, there's also a lot of Madhurya Rasa coming. So it is, um, it, it's, you will see, there is no question, I think, after some time you will want to go to Vrindavan and take part f first from a safe spectator <laughs> seat <laughs> and then you might consider when you enter the mood. Um, anyways, Hare Krishna. <laughs> Good, so... so. So that Krishna Maharaj might uh, bless 
side of the piece just on the on the deck. Yeah. So thank you very much for your picture. Thank you. Then then the morning program, Ma- uh, Maharaj first and Harika Saad same time. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Yeah. The the rest uh, is uh, as Keshava Maharaj will give the Raghunatham lecture or this first part of the seminar, and then at the eleven o'clock we will have Harika Saad. The rest remain in our okay. in our cities. And th- oh yeah, thank you so much for your pictures. Thank you so much for uh, from. Uh, Shamananda for the beautiful song. Yes, very beautiful Gita. You, you have made our uh, yeah. Maharaj le- left us this morning the homework that was to try to think of Krishna and not forget him and by the help of our teacher it was really uh, very helpful. Thank you so much. And please uh, keep, uh, keep, keep, keep drinking, keep taking nectar in and see you tomorrow earliest at 4 30 for Mandala. Yeah. Yeah. Krishna. Yeah. 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 Hare Krishna. Uh, is I I saw Pujarini uh, this morning. I, I, are you here, Pujarini? Can you please come to where here in the front? Yes. Oh yes. Hare Krishna.